John Jr. Gotti got an early wake-up call this morning when federal agents arrested the mob icon at his Oyster Bay home on Long Island. In a new indictment, Gotti is charged with five other men in a series of crimes, including large-scale cocaine trafficking and three murders dating from the 1980s and 90s. Gotti was transported to New York's federal courthouse Tuesday morning to be arraigned and possibly extradited to Florida, where the U.S. Attorney's Office in Tampa is pursuing the case. Today we're announcing the indictment and arrest of six men involved in organized crime here in the Tampa Bay area and in else other parts of this country. The most notorious of those arrested early this morning is John A. Gotti, the son of now deceased Gambino crime family boss John J. Gotti. The charges could put Gotti behind bars for life, but the alleged mob boss's lawyers say this is just another attempt by the FBI to wrongly pursue an innocent man with a famous last name. Still, that name still generates a lot of interest. All right, and if somebody in law enforcement wants to try to capitalize on that, that's unfortunate. Gotti's attorneys maintain that he's long left the famed Gambino crime family, and these are other people's crimes. That some drug dealer in Florida, some junkie, who has now been convicted and is looking to escape responsibility for what he did, would try to invoke John's name, that doesn't surprise me. The fact that a prosecutor, that a prosecution, or a group of FBI agents, or whoever, armed with the knowledge that they are armed with over the last 10 years, would choose to pursue those charges based on somebody like that's word. That's surprising. Gotti has previously managed to escape three sets of racketeering charges, each of which ended in mistrial, and only one served a 77-month jail term. If Gotti is found guilty, he will spend the rest of his life behind bars, just like his father, who died in prison in 2002. In New York, I'm Jeff Lieberman for NYPost.com.